very good morning it's a beautiful day a wonderful sun beautiful sky a grand beginning of the day today i want to share with you some of my thoughts thoughts about what is life and how to make life a celebration we get up in the morning <clears throat> do over some of the routine things get ready go to our various jobs continue that throughout the day different activities in the evening 6 o'clock 7 o'clock we come back takes some refreshments play with the children watch tv go to sleep and then repeat the whole whole cycle is repeated day after day day after today i want to give you a seed a thought i want you to sit down for a moment for a minute and think what is it that you did yesterday which you had not done day before yesterday or what is it that you are going to do today which you have not done yesterday if the pattern of life if every day is exactly the same is a replica of what we have been doing day after day then i believe we have stopped growing by doing different things does not mean someone starts designing a nuclear reactor or the profile of a rocket which takes the space crafts doing different things in a different manner can be anything for instance let us suppose you are a person who has a who has an office on the fourth floor as a matter of routine you have been coming to the office taking the lift going to your office today when you go to the office instead of taking a lift take the stairs when you get down while going back instead of taking the lift take the stairs and while you take the stairs you watch your every step maybe normally when you get down you take the stairs you are taking one step at a time how about jumping two steps at a time i'm sure you would have done this when you were young when you were children when the various mass of the society and maturity had not yet covered you try today aaj koshish kariye take the stair try to climb two stairs at a time maybe three stairs at a time instead of going straight try to go in a zigzag manner instead of putting your feet first try to put your heel first make some variation make some change and you will be amazed at the number of variations which are possible in a very small activity like simply taking the steps if you work in a workshop normally you go punch your name in the muster have you ever stopped 
and watched people just watch them don't make a judgment just watch them you will find the whole universe in front of you just by looking at them you will be able to know the background of the person the educational qualification of the person the overall upbringing of the person you will find that when there is a line to sign the master there will be people who will try to be in a straight line then there will be people who will try to find out a way to jump few people there will be people who will be trying to ensure that the line is straight there will be people who will be talking very loudly there will be people who will be smiling there will be people who will be laughing you will find multi various thoughts you will find the whole universe in a microcosm at one place watch their shoes watch their caps everything will be different the way a person walks will be different some will be very brisk some will be very slow some will be moving attentionlessly some will be just watching people so any activity which you do today try to make it slightly different when i came to the office i decided that the first thing which i do is to record a video i wanted to see how i will look on the monitor i how i will look on the screen how is my diction it is a new activity for me i am sure once this recording is over when i watch it it will give me a lot of leads it will tell me a lot of things it will tell me about the pace of my talk the type of words i am using the choice of the words the lightning in the video the perception and the angle the perspective so every small thing will be a learning experience for us if we have in the office something in which we are required to write down in files or in registers today when you pick up the file or a register when you write why not try writing your best handwriting making the most beautiful alphabets beautiful words try to choose words you have normally not chosen once this thought process starts i am sure there will be words which you have heard which you remembered long time ago but you have not used you may like to google it up you may like to look up for a dictionary that is the beginning of a new life of a different life that is the beginning of living when you take up a register you will find that the margins are not straight why not take a scale instead of simply drawing a line why not use one or two different colors why not use a pencil different colored pencils sketch pens if the corners of the register or the files are torn how about taking a heavy quick or some gum or fairy call and making them better if some page is torn how about taking a salo tape and just making it proper if the filing is not proper how about taking out the papers using a proper punch folding the paper into two half and then punching it just try to do it today i am sure this is a slightly different activity from a normal routine 
once you start doing that that means you are treating the file with respect it is not about the file the file is a part of your life it is about how you are giving respect to yourself by respecting things which are around you if i respect a person by respecting the person i am respecting myself this person or any object animate or inanimate is a part of my life is a part of my environment it defines me how i treat the person is a reflection of how i treat myself the world is only a mirror the world is a reflection of myself if i find that a chair in a room is not aligned if it is not straight how about going there making it straight making it aligned i am sure when we do these small activities you are walking on a station you find there is a yellow black polythene with some garbage people are coming walking kicking it there is a dustbin nearby how about picking it up and putting it in the dustbin when a person picks up a black polythene on a station takes it and puts it in a bag it is not a small act when who is doing it when he is picking up the polythene and putting it in the bag at that moment he has expanded himself he has become the owner of the station he becomes bigger he becomes the owner of the station because this sense will not come to a person unless he believes that this is mine 